This is really the, the true danger of thinking of addiction as binary. Hey guys, quick video about why it's really, really important to not look at addiction as black and white issue, as a I'm addicted or I'm not addicted, a binary, because the tendency is that we like to label addiction as a binary. Am I addicted? Am I not that addicted? As opposed to the reality is that addiction is more of a continuum or a spectrum of how addicted, more specifically how dependent someone is on the habit just to live their life and how dependent are they on uh, porn, masturbation, social media, video games, all this stuff just to escape. And there's a fundamental reason why this is really, really important because I was just talking with a guy who has been spiraling out of control and binge watching porn and masturbating, right? After being doing really, really well for months and months. So I asked him like, why did you, you know, decide to kind of spiral and slide all the way back down the mountain? And he said, well, my mental process was, well, I just felt like uh, I made a mistake and I might as well. And underlyingly, what he really was getting to is he felt deep down, oh, I'm still addicted. I'm still addicted, even though I've tried so hard and I've made progress, you know, I threw it all away one time and therefore I, I'm still here. I'm still at the bottom of the mountain. I haven't progressed. This is really the, the true danger of thinking of addiction as binary, is that when you do make a mistake, your first reaction is, oh, I made a mistake. I might as well just binge watch because why? I'm still addicted. And the conclusion is because I still have this habit, the act of masturbating, watching porn in my life. Therefore, the conclusion is I'm still addicted. And that that's really dangerous. Why? Because you do not recognize any of the progress that you have made. It is not a, a, a black and white situation. It is not a binary of addiction. Why? Because it can't be. It cannot be. Because the people that truly, truly succeed in life in, in porn recovery long term, they just continue up this continuum of working on their self awareness, working on addressing why they have this desire to escape and noticing that and getting better at talking about that with people and reflecting to the point that they look back and they just notice, wow, I just don't want to watch porn anymore. I just woke up and I, I just noticed an a, a incredibly uh, significant decrease in my desire to escape and to watch porn. I just don't feel that anymore. And that's what it actually looks like in long-term recovery. That's what it actually looks like when it, when the rubber hits the road. It's people continue to work on themselves and and grow up this this uh, continuum and this spectrum to the point where they look back and they wonder why was I lost in the jungle for so long when I could have just continued on and climbing this mountain instead of just labeling, your, labeling yourself as I'm an addict or I'm not an addict. It's not a helpful label. It's not a helpful distinction to have. The more important uh, label, if you will, to have is I have a dependency on porn to escape. That's it. That is what is actually going on. Now, when you look at your habit as not high sexual, you know, freak, freak of nature, some weirdo, some perverted weirdo, but actually, if you understand, it, I'm just trying to escape something, then suddenly you eliminate one of the biggest roadblocks in recovery, which is shame. As soon as you understand, it's not because you're some weird freak of nature, but you're actually just in pain and you're just trying to escape like everybody. And you have just found that porn is the easiest way for you to escape in your life. And you learned that from a very young age, right? That's all that's going on. That is it. There's no shame. There's no reason to feel like a filthy human being because of this habit. You're just trying to escape. That's it. And porn just happens to be super duper easily accessible more than anything, more than any drug, more than any other escapism on the planet. I hope this is just some perspective to have that it's not that you are just addicted or not addicted. It's not, it can't be that. It can't because that's not how life works. But why is it that human beings tend to try to think of things as black and white? Why? Because it's lazy, okay? It's lazy and it's easy. Evolutionarily speaking, it's easy to think things in binary. It's like, yes, this is bad, this is good. This is, this is uh, feels good, this doesn't feel good, whatever. It's easy to think like that, but that's not how we, most things in life are not like that. Most things in life are a continuum of to what extent am I addicted? To what extent am I dependent on this thing? So don't think if you make a mistake or a misjudgment or a misstep or make those micro decisions to watch a video that you shouldn't or go on an Instagram profile that you shouldn't. Don't think, oh man, I'm still addicted. It's like, okay, what happened? Like, why did I do that? Why do I have this feeling, this desire to want to escape? And as you continue to climb this growth ladder, this mountain, you will notice before long, in a very short period of time, I said, wow, I had noticed a significant decrease to want to escape, to want to watch porn. I'm going to continue on this path because that's my growth process. And it's not a binary black and white situation issue. All right. Anyways, lots of love to you guys. God bless. See you.